I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting question on quadratic expressions. The question is, the formula for factorable trinomial is 2f square plus kf plus 40, where k belongs to integers. What are all possible integer values for k? So what we are given here is 2f square plus kf plus 40. Now we want to convert this into a factorable trinomial. So what are the possible values of k? That is what you need to write. Take it as a practice test question. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now as you can see, we are looking for product and sum. So if the product is 40 times 2, which is equals to 80, then the sum should be equal to k, right? So all the combinations which can satisfy this condition will help us to factor the given equation, correct? So what we will do here is we'll try to write all the combinations which will give us product of 80. That's the whole idea. So we'll look for two numbers whose product is 80, correct? So that is what we're looking for. So we'll now write down list of all the numbers. Let us say P and Q, whose product is 40 times 2, whose product is 40 times 2, that is 80, right? And then we can write here sum, and sum will be P plus Q, that should be equal to K. So these are all the combinations. Now since 40 times 2 is what? 40 times 2 is 80. So we can start with numbers like 80 and 1. And when you add them up, you get 81. Do you see that? Then we have 40 times 2. And when you add them up, you get 42. So these are possible values of k. Correct? So you can like continue with this list. You can say 20 times unit product of 80, right? 20 times 4 and give us 24 as the k value. 10 times 8, 18 for example. So you can do half of this and then 16 and then add them up, right? So if you multiply, continue like this, you'll get a lot of numbers, but you have to list all of them. So 5, when you add them up, you get 21, right? Now what are the other factors? So we could now write, can you think about some more? Now we can look into other combinations. I think these are good enough. Um, so what we have is we have 40 times 2. So we'll just write factors. 40 factors are 10 and 4. This is 2 and 2. This is 5 and 2. So these numbers give us all the combination. Correct? So we have already got plus 2 here. right? So we have another 2. So you can have 2 times all these numbers, 4 times all these numbers, 8 times all these numbers, 16 times all these numbers. And that is how you get all possible combinations. With this, I think we have covered the list. Now one more combination can happen. And that is you need plus 40, correct? That means if I use both as negative, if I use both as negative, in that case, this becomes negative 81. So that means for k, I could have positive or negative value. Do you get the point? If both are negative, their product will be positive 80, right? And when you add them, you get negative 81. So that gives me all the options with positive and negative. Do you see that? So that is getting more numbers from the same list. So our answer is k could be equal to plus minus 81 plus minus 42 plus minus 24 plus minus 18 plus minus 20 one so likewise we can get our list right and this list we know is complete since we have taken care of all the combination of the given factors correct so these are all the combinations four five times two times two times two times two right so that gives us the complete list of numbers i hope that helps thank you and all the best